Good morning, long greeters. Like you very well know, anytime we greet, it's morning. It's always morning in long reach. Everything comes new every morning. Today, I want us to just look at the back office. That's the engine room of your business. If you're a long reacher and a member of Team Grace, you're in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. But while you have done everything right, one thing you cannot miss out is knowledge. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Power is actually in applying that knowledge. So I want us to just look at our back office today. But as you acquire this knowledge, don't end it there. I need you to act on this knowledge. I need you to work it. I need you to ensure that you do this every day. Go to your back office at least once every day. And what, when you open your back office, speak to your back office. Declare the number of PVs you want and you will see it come to pass. So let's go into our back office. How do you get to your back office? First and foremost, you need to have your code. When you register, you got a code. If you're registered in Nigeria, it will be NG0 blah blah blah. If it's in the US, it will be US0 blah blah blah. Wherever you registered, you have a code. So have your code handy. Number two, you, what you need is your password. For Nigeria, the default password is 123. You know your password. So also have your password ready. And you're good to go. So log, log on into Longreach uh, um, um, back office, which is longlickycn.cn. Longlickycn.cn. L-O-N-G-L-I-Q-I-C-N dot C-N. You can see it there. Don't mind this not secure. We don't transact. You don't ask for your card or any payment details here. So you say it's not secure for financial transactions. But here is your office. No financial transactions come in here. So it's not um, secure. It should not bother you. So when you open longleaky.cn, you see user number. Your user number is your code if you're in nigeria like i said it's ng so type in your code here and don't forget it's capital letters n g and the first word is zero not capital o when you put in your code that's my code this code i'm using is a training code it's not my account so i don't throw people's figures on the internet so this is my training code so and then password default password in nigeria is one two three you can change this when you get in but if you change it please ensure you don't forget it and then check code when it says check code is referring to this here as a check code here it's three eight two four that's a check code here this will change as many times as you log on to this back office it's just to confirm that you are human and then you click login I'm not saving this password. It's what I use for training. I want to key it in each time I'm running a, a training program. The first thing that opens up to you is your back office. Is your message control, sorry. And you see all the messages from the Long Reach Ed office that concerns you. And you can see that this has all deep highlighted, showing that they haven't been opened. In my regular account, you won't see any deep highlighted because I go to my office every day and look at what is in the back office. Please cultivate that habit and do that every day. So whatever mess messages you, the head office has sent out, you always see it here. Fast reach pack A in April, B, C, D in April. All of this information from long reach is all here. So if you click on the arrow by it, so I've moved to the left hand column of the screen member system and you have six um areas that you can go into membership con message control which is this is the main message contact us message management number two there is membership and that is the key thing i'm talking to you from what i do when i log on the first place i go to is performance service organization structure performance services organization structure just like the name implies, it shows your entire organization in one breath. Don't forget it's a training um, account and it's only one person there. 
maybe for subsequent training i'll probably maybe do combo under each 44 pv so that when i open it you can see at least a first layer so that the expansion can be a lot clearer but follow me on this when you open when you click on this and your organization opens if you're not a one member organization like my training model here is you will see your entire tree you see an arrow coming down and one two three your immediate three legs will open and under each leg will be an arrow to show that there's still somebody under those and you could go through it the next thing you look at let's look at this page critically it tells your present position you are in membership performance services organization structure which is what we clicked, uh, clicked on it tells you the week we are in 2019-0401 the week ends on 0804-2019 that's the week placement tree for XYZ and then it gives you your number your name your level here this guy is on gold I registered it with 240 PV so it's gold then your um, ranking here the rank here is pre-diamond remember we have ranking that goes from pre-diamond to diamond 7 in the diamond series and where you cross with the star director where all of us are aiming for 1 to 5 now gold is just 240 PV diamond one is 720 PV so that explains that then it shows see, you can see here new group PV this will always show you the activities for the week that is why i come here every day so i can call forth the pvs i'm looking for for that week if your um p new group pv is 0, 0.00 what that means is nothing has been done in your account this week don't ever let any week end without activity on at least two of your legs that is the only way you would earn every week so this is 0, 0.00 is my training account so i really don't need points there so i really i'm not bothered about that what it says that this week this guy has done nothing how many people are under the network you can see one is the only one there if you have 10 people in your network you will see it here if you have 100 you will see it here if you have a million you will see it here this page actually just gives you an overview of your organization structure that's why it calls it performance services organization structure just see the whole thing in one sweep and what has happened in the week now if you can see this arrow here if it was more than one person if i click on this arrow if you're more than one person it will show you you can see that stick here and a line going nowhere because there's no other person in this if there was somebody else it will show also it's telling me in the week this is week 10 of 2019 performance Development performance is zero, performance commission is zero, achieve commission is zero, and this Chinese word two is zero. Saying that nothing has been done this week by this leg. Please don't let this happen to you. The next place to go to is placement tree performance. Of course, I'm sure by now you know the difference between sponsor tree and placement tree. Placement are the people in your team, not necessarily sponsored by you. So your upline can sponsor somebody and put in your team its placement for well, anyone you sponsor is your sponsor tree so placement tree when you click on it and this page opens you can see the week generation check where you can put in the generation you want to check there's only one person but you could actually say you want to check generation the next hundred generation as many as was like a d5 or a d7 or an sd make about generation one because okay, SD yes generation 100 or 150 you will have it there and then you click on check until you click on check nothing happens on this page but when it opens up it's going to show you information according to this headings that you have here member level sign up date let's click on it so click check if you click on check it opens up immediately member it puts your code again and your name remember it's my XYZ account level it's gold the sign up date the rank is pre-diamond don't forget it's gold generation new weekly upgrade order sales what has happened in this week for this person your own upgrade the accumulated performance of upgrade this is what shows you 
your personal cumulative PVs. This is what determines if you are a gold, a platinum, or a VIP. Your accumulated performance of upgrade order. This is all about you. Then you have the new performance of current week in placement tree. That is what has happened in your entire tree this week. Then you have accumulated upgrade order performance in placement tree. What has happened in your tree from inception till now? Look at this. This is zero because nothing has happened this week. But this is 270 because till date, this person has 270 PVs cumulative in the tree. Accumulated PV of placement tree last week. So every week, this should be higher than this if you are working. For this guy, nothing is happening. So last week it was 270. This week also 270 because nothing has happened. But that should not be your, your portion. For you, your last week must always be lower than your this week. Don't forget, the path of the just shines brighter and brighter. You are just. So your path must shine brighter and brighter, even in PVs. So if you had 270 PVs last week, this week, move up. Double if you, if you can. Triple if you can. Not only by what you personally have done, but by what your entire team has done. That's what this is talking about. They have the new repeat order performance of current cycle in placement tree. New repeat order performance of current cycle in placement tree. In other words, in this placement tree, what has happened as a new repeat order? Don't forget we have four types of orders. You have the fresh purchase, you have upgrade, you have retail, and you have repeat. Fresh order, like your name, fresh purchase, like your name implies, is when you register. Upgrade is after you have registered below VIP, what you do to bring yourself up to VIP, your personal activity, that is um, 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 your upgrade order. Then repeat order is when you, you have not a VIP, but you need to buy a toothpaste, a mosquito repellent, or soap, and you take money from your e-wallet. The company says, uh, saves 5% of your earnings once you're a D3 and above in your e-wallet account. The company actually, actually is a complete company. They don't want you to eat all your, all your money at once. So they save 5%. When your money in your e-wallet accumulates, you can use it to buy your product again. You can cash it out. They can't stop you. But ideally, what they're trying to do is have enough money in your wallet so that when you want to do your monthly purchases, you don't have to bring in fresh money into the account. Let's celebrate long reach. They're the only company that can do that for you. They even teach you to save. So, repeat order is when you take money from your e-wallet to make a purchase. Retail order is when you do your... Um, you're already a VIP. You're buying something, but you're paying from your account. It's called a retail order. So, the question, the, this column is, is there been any repeat order in your cycle this week? Of course, nothing. Is there been accumulate all the repeat and retail orders under this leg so far? He puts it here. This guy is not done any, so it's still zero. There are many repeat order of performance of current cycle. Remember this was cumulative, but saying this cycle go 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 go. How many? For of course, for this is zero. Then the final thing: accumulated upgrade performance. All the PVs on this leg. All the PVs this person has generated, whether it's upgrade order, fresh purchase, repeat order, all the PVs on this leg. This is where you know if you have enough points for a D3, a D4, an SD1, an SD5. This is where you know your cumulative PVs. There are times you qualify for upgrade, but be because you have your two leg balanced, but you don't have enough points. You keep watching this place until the points are sufficient. So that is placement tree performance performance of sponsor network sponsor don't forget that the people that you brought in by yourself and your code is their sponsor code look at here i can put generation check let's do if i was an sd i'll be doing a hundred or one thousand let's look at it and click again check remember you must at this point you must always click check for you to see any information 
Now, this is for those you have sponsored. So it says your name again, your level, your sign up date, your rank, your generation, and number of directly sponsored downlines. This guy has nobody sponsored, so it's just him and him alone. New weekly upgrade order sales, zero. Accumulated upgrade performance upgrade to 70. New group PV of sponsor network, zero. Accumulated group PV of sponsor network, 270. Accumulated PV of sponsor tree last week, 270. New repeat order of performance of current cycle, zero. Sponsorship tree, new repeat order performance of this sponsorship tree, zero. The accumulated repeat order performance and sponsorship tree is also zero because it's the only guy and he's not doing anything. So you all see all, all those zeros. The reason for this place is so that you can watch after those that you personally sponsored. Don't like the woman that had a baby in and just cleaned up and walked out of the maternity ward and never looked back. When you sponsor somebody, I never ask the person, how far, what are you doing? You're like that woman that had a baby and took a walk out of the hospital and never looked back. Of course, you know no woman will do that. So you also should not do that. For those that register under you, who you sponsored, give them their code, teach them the basic things, and keep checking on them until they are ready to fly on their own. That's why you are their sponsor. Search placement network. Now, here is like you just want to look at what has happened in your placement network. See, it's very different from placement tree performance. There, we saw all the uh, all the works. Um, upgrade this week, upgrade last week, repeat order. But here, you can see generation new weekly upgrade order, accumulated performance of upgrade order. You see all of that. When it says search placement tree network, you're looking for a particular person. So it comes there and it says total downline in placement tree. Just click check and all levels. You will see everybody in your placement tree. You will see their name, their code, their name their level and the date the level was reviewed. The same thing for sponsor tree network. You click check all levels, you see the same information. And here edit personal information. But the truth is long doesn't allow you to edit your personal information to pre prevent fraud. If you want to change your ID number is clear, your goal. If you want to change any information here, you need to go to the office because they won't allow you change. So you don't carry somebody else's name and put in somebody else's own. Then the next thing here is order management. Remember I told you about the type of orders we have. We have upgrade order, repeat order, retail order, and inquire the cycle of repeat and maintenance order. Let's take it from the top, upgrade order. When you click on this, it shows you all the orders you have made for upgrade. You can see if I've done three transactions here, you will have been seeing different um, lines. And what do you have here? Reviewing status says has been paid. If this order has not been confirmed, you will, say, you will see here yet to be paid. So if you go to a stockist and you buy something and it's not showing in your, um, in your um, uh, under membership, it's not showing in your performance service organization, come here and click on your upgrade order. And check has it been entered at all? If it has not been entered, please call your stockist immediately to avoid stories that touch. If it has been entered but has not been paid, that means they are still looking for that debit advice that you sent to them. They're looking for the corresponding leg in their bank statement to confirm that what you sent to them is actually in their bank statement. Once that has been done, you will see status reviewing status has been paid. Order code. This is the code generated for your order. Property is an upgrade order, not a repeat, not a retail order. Member ID, that's it, the name. The stockist where you bought it from, the name of the stockist. The shipping agent, surely that's also the stockist. The name of shipping agent, that's also the stockist. But you know, don't forget in US, for instance, they send all their things by courier. So that will always change. Total amount. So how much did I spend to get this 270 PV? That's the total amount, 107700 I know you can go a step further to click on this and to show you what did you even buy to make this up. Here it shows I bought Nutri-Vero Nutritionist Veggie Fruit Instant Drink. I bought three of it, 90 times 3, 270. That's how come I have 
270 there. That is your upgrade order. If I've been doing repeat order, you click on repeat order, you will see it. I haven't done repeat order for this dude, so if I've been doing retail order, the same thing. As me, I'm a VIP. There's what is called the 30 PV, um, um, the system I'm supposed to do monthly. What is it for? Buy your toothpaste, buy your tooth, um, body soap, body cream, those basic things. The company is supposed to keep patronizing them. So 30 PV. 30 PV is not a big deal. It's even smaller than one berry oil. The system says do that every month as a VIP and above. Now, the beautiful thing about this again is that you don't have to do it every month. 30 PV, you might forget. For instance, you want to buy a pot. A pot, um, 28 inch is 180 PV. You can tell your stockist, use this for my re retail order for the next six months. And the system will take it as such and they'll credit you for 30 PV every month for that six months so your money tpv is exhausted so if you don't know if you have done your cycle or repeat of maintenance order come here click it and you would find it there the next thing is commission this dude hasn't been earning so it won't see much here but let's see what should be there you see even though this dude hasn't been earning the system actually is diligent enough to put it all there and show all the zeros and say look you would have earned though, but because you didn't do anything, all of this was supposed to be for you, but you didn't do anything, so they're all zeros. That shows you that you, if you are in this business alone and you register nobody, you cannot earn. Except you're a VIP. When you earn VIP points, I will see that in a minute. So it shows you your rank, development performance. How, do you, how much did you earn as development performance for this week? How much did you earn as retail order performance? If you're a stockist, what was your stockist commission? Diamond VIP was a bonus point. Performance aid mutual, I'm sure that's for the SDs. Performance bonus, what was leadership commission? What is this? How much did you earn for your repeat amount and your traveling points? If you're a D4, you start earning traveling points. If you're a um, D7 and above, you earn car points. If you're an SD, you earn house points. All of that shows here under commissions incentive point management is what shows you your accumulated vip incentive accumulated travel incentive accumulated car incentive accumulated housing incentive balanced vip incentive points and all of that the higher you go from d4 and above you need to see interesting figures coming in here if you are below d4 and you're a vip you'll be seeing vip incentive points coming in here commission reports this just shows what have you done with your commissions so far if you have been with your development bonus again it breaks it all one by one the chinese wanted to see it clearly so you don't say somebody has deceived you in getting something now if you have been withdrawing from your incentive points then this shows you your membership number type amount who created it and the bank account if you have been withdrawing you will always see it there and payment details when we show you there they also show you here the net check payment that was made for you because for everything they remove from your back office in form of shares there's a withholding tax that must be paid just like you pay on your regular dividend is the same here because it's treated as shares so when you're converting those shares into cash they charge withholding tax as a paid back to the government the next thing here is finance management. And here you see the account transaction record. So if you have been withdrawing money, you will see it here. So you won't say, ah, what happened? My money just disappeared. Not a dime can come out of your, um, of, of your back office without your authorization. Even if somebody is saying transfer VIP points they will send it into your bank account so nobody can tamper with your back office account successfully and then system is where you can change your password but please note if you change your password don't forget it so that's our back office ladies and gentlemen in the next video we'll look at something else but for now i'm sure you understand your back office please go in there every day and importantly speak over your back office Declare the PVs you want to see and have a wonderful day.
God bless you.